Okay, the time is 8.20, so we are going to start now. You can turn on your cameras and turn off your microphones. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good morning, everyone. I hope you are feeling well, that you are living your life to the fullest. And you are good in general. Okay, baik. Sekali lagi, dengar tak? Testing, testing one, two, three, testing satu, dua, tiga. Dengar ke tidak? Dengar. Dengar. Dengar, okey baik. So kita sambung eh. Baik, hari ini macam biasa, sekejap lagi saya akan bagi kehadiran, link untuk kehadiran dalam tempat yang biasa, dalam my link tu. So hany awak hanya perlu tandakan sahaja. Pilih nama, kemudian um, letakkan tarikh. Tarikh macam biasa ya, bulan dulu dekat depan, di tengahnya hari, dekat hujung baru tahun. Baik, topik kita pada hari ini adalah How the Tiger Got Its Stripes. Okay, awak boleh tulis tajuk dia, tulis hari dengan tarikh dalam buku E3 awak dulu. Now, if you have any problem throughout the lesson, uh, you can simply turn on your microphones and ask questions. Okay, ada masalah tanya saja. Semua sihat ke? Hani sihat ke Hani? Sihat. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Balian sihat ke Balian? Alhamdulillah so sihat. Alhamdulillah. Very good. Um, Syahril, ada Syahril ke? Syahril ada tak? Ada, sir. Ada, sihat Syahril? Alhamdulillah, sihat. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, very good. Uh, siapa lagi? Afif Ikwan, sihat ke Afif Ikwan? Ikwan, sihat Ikwan? Sihat. Ah, sihat. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Now, if you have any problems, any problems at all, <coughs> you can message me ya. Kalau awak ada apa-apa masalah, awak bagi tahu je saya. Okay, tak kisahlah masalah apa pun, awak bagi tahu saya. InsyaAllah, if I have uh, the capability, then I'll be able to help. Okay. Okay, baik. Kita sambung. Okay, baik. Now today the title is How the Tiger Got Its Stripes. Now, looking at the title, what do you understand from the title? Apa yang awak faham melalui tajuk dia sahaja? Awak rasa apa yang kita akan belajar pada hari ini? Rasanya apa? Yes. Who's that? Who's that? Siapa tu? Ada nak jawab ke? Ya, yeah, Syaril, yes. Rasanya kita akan belajar mengenai apa? Bagaimana harimau mendapat belangnya? Ya, yeah, bagaimana harimau mendapat belangnya. So, in ancient times, <coughs> perhaps the tiger, uh, sekarang, nowadays, A tiger has stripes, right? Harimau ada belang kan? Betul tak? Betul kan? Kan? Betul tak? Ya. Yeah. Ah, tak jawab pun. Tunggu punya tunggu. Okay. Ya yeah, betul. Sekarang kita tengok harimau ada belang. Tapi mungkin pada zaman dahulu harimau tu tak ada belang. So apa yang kita akan belajar pada hari ini adalah apa yang membuatkan Harimau itu mendapat belangnya. What makes testing, testing. a tiger gets the stripes? Okay. Yes, Abbas. Dengar Abbas. Okay. I hear you well. Okay, baik. Now, at the end of the lesson, <coughs> at the end of the lesson, pupils should be able to listen and answer questions based on listening text. Now, 
uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to do some listening exercise whereby I give you questions first, saya bagi soalan dulu and you need to copy them down and then I'll be reading the listening text. Okay, now you have to listen to the listening text and then answer the question based on the listening text. Sounds easy, right? Not a problem at all. You just listen to the readout and then you fill in the table. Uh, it's a table actually. Dia ada dalam bentuk, uh, apa ni? Table, table apa eh? Uh, kotak-kotak lah. Ada dalam bentuk kotak-kotak. Okay, ha awak hanya perlu isikan jawapan dia sahaja. Next, you be able to un differentiate characteristics of different animals. Actually, it's, it's a chosen animal. Sebenarnya ia adalah uh, haiwan yang awak sendiri pilih by listing them out in simple bubble mat. Okay, awak akan tuliskan characteristics, the adjectives and the simple characteristics lah, ciri-ciri uh, binatang tu. Okay, what specialties and what features that they have that uh, differentiates them from one animal to another. Okay. Next. Now this is a flamingo. Okay, you know this animal, right? Awak tahu binatang ni kan? Betul tak? Muas pernah tengok tak binatang ni Muas? Pernah. Pernah. I did pernah, muas pernah. Okay, now this is a flamingo. How do you say flamingo? Okay, baik di bawah tu saya ada tulis cara sebutan dia. Flamingo. Okay, jangan flamingo, flamingo. Flamingo. Yes, thank you ideal, flamingo. Okay. Now, a flamingo is, a flamingo comes from the bird family or the avian family. Dia datang daripada um, keluarga burung. Okay. And they can fly, although you see them be being very big. They have um, wings that are capable of taking them far away. Okay, now a flamingo, is it a carnivore, herbivore or omnivore? What is a flamingo? What do you think? Awak rasa dia carnivore ke, uh, herbivore ke, omnivore? Yes, Sharil. Carnivore. Carnivore. Okay, Syahril cakap dia carnivore. Yang lain ada lagi tak jawapan lain selain daripada carnivore? Yes, Abbas. Herbivore. Herbivore. Okay, Abbas cakap herbivore. Ada lain? Omnivore. Omnivore. Akila Syahril cakap omnivore. Tiga-tiga ada. Okay. So, flamingo. Kebiasaannya dia akan makan apa? Dia makan ayam tak? Ikan. Uh. Dia tak makan ayam. Dia makan ikan ni Zat. Dia makan ikan. Betul ke kelas? Uh. Dia makan ikan tak flamingo? I think so. I think flamingos eat fish. Yes. So kalau dia makan ikan, dia dikira sebagai carnivore, herbivore ataupun omnivore? Carnivore. Carnivore. Okay lagi satu. Dia makan rumpai ataupun rumput ataupun bijirin tak? Agak-agak awak dia makan tak? Rumput-rumput, rumpai-rumpai. Now actually in my belief, a flamingo is an omnivore. Okay? Flamingo ni adalah omnivore. Kenapa? Flamingos, they eat fish, which is meat, and also they eat <coughs> wheat, gandum, and uh, rice, beras ataupun padi. Okay, so they are considered to be omnivores. Okay, so that's it about flamingos. Now we go to the listening part. The instructions. Listen to the excerpt and complete the following table. Okay, now this is where you are going to start doing the exercise. You can copy this into your E3. Now, there are three lists in this table. One is animals in the story. 
number two, the tiger's pride, and number three, the buffalo's strength. You copy this one first. Later, I will be reading the text to you. Okay, boleh ke Salin? Nampak tak? Nampak. Saya kena, Nampak. kena lukis ke? Tak payah lukis. No need. Tak perlu lukis. Firas ada ke Firas? Ada tak? Yes, honey? Anything? Sir, pride tu apa? Mana? Pride. Dia punya uh, kebanggaan. What he is being proud of. Okay? Faham? Faham. Okay. Uh, I think towards the end, I'll be taking a picture. So, I'll need you to turn on your cameras. Waktu, nanti sekejap lagi saya tahu. So, sekarang awak boleh bersedialah. Basuh-basuh muka, buang taik mata. Okay. Okay. Sekejap lagi ya, maybe around 9.15 kot. Sebelum kita habis, 9.59 lah. Okay, now have you finished? Finish. Yes or no? Finish. Uh, finish lah, Sharil. <coughs> okay. Now, can I start to read the listening text? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. So, get ready, yeah? Get ready. Now, if you have any words that you do not understand and you are able to catch what I read, you just ask me to repeat and I'll repeat it. Okay, kalau tak faham ataupun ada perkataan yang awak uh, tertinggal ataupun hilang, awak suruh ulang. Now, you don't have to copy this down. You just fill in the boxes in the table. Now, do you know many years ago, the proudest animal in the forest was neither the lion nor the peacock. It was the tiger. The tiger was proud of his fangs. It was also proud of its big paws and sharp claws. The tiger's biggest pride was its beautiful shiny coat. The tiger was not afraid of any animals in the jungle except the buffalo because it was huge and tough. It also had long and powerful horns. One bright and sunny morning, the tiger saw the buffalo working very hard. It was pulling a plow in the paddy field. The tiger was confused. Now, that is all from the listening text. Have you gotten the answers? Do you need me to repeat one more time? 
You want me to repeat? Yes. Yes, so I should repeat, huh? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'll repeat once more. <clears throat> Do you know, many years ago, the proudest animal in the forest was neither the lion nor the peacock. It was the tiger. The tiger was proud of its fangs. It was also proud of its big paws and sharp claws. The tiger's biggest pride was its beautiful shiny coat. The tiger was not afraid of any animals in the jungle except the buffalo because it was huge and tough. It also had long and powerful horns. One bright and sunny morning, the tiger saw the buffalo working very hard. It was pulling a plow in the paddy field. The tiger was confused. Okay, now that is all. So bagi awak masa dua minit untuk jawab. Kau dah siap? I'm giving you two minutes for you to answer. Belum eh? Ulang balik. Nak kena ulang ke? Ulang balik. Nak ulang lagi? Sikit lagi? Ah, yeah. Yang belakang. Yang belakang. Yang mana? Uh, animals in the story dapat tak? Animals in the story. Dapat. But. Dapat. Okay. Tiger sprite? Tak. Tak dapat. Buffalo strength? Tak dapat tiga. Tak. Okay. Now. Uh, even though I gave you one, two, three, four, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have one, two, three, four. Walaupun saya tulis kat situ satu, dua, tiga, empat, tak semestinya ada satu, dua, tiga, empat. Mungkin ada satu, dua saja, mungkin ada satu, dua, tiga saja. Okay. Now I'll repeat one more time, the last time. Huh? Satu lagi. Dengar betul-betul. Buka telinga. Tanpa pipi sikit bagi. Selo-selo, sir. Selo-selo? Okay. Nak bisik ke? One more time, ah. one last time. Selalu-selalu, jangan lagi sangat. Okay, tempo dia kena perlahan. Okay, fine. Faham, faham. Okay. Jangan laju sangat. Okay. Do you know, many years ago, the proudest animal in the forest was neither the lion nor the peacock. It was the tiger. The tiger was proud of his fangs. It was also proud of its big paws and sharp claws. The tiger's biggest pride was its beautiful shiny coat. The tiger was not afraid of any animals in the jungle except the buffalo because it was huge and tough. It also had long and powerful horns. One bright and shiny morning, the tiger saw the buffalo working very hard. It was pulling a plow in the paddy field. The tiger was confused. Dapat ke tidak? Buffalo tak dapat. Buffalo tak dapat. Okay, tak apa. Sekejap lagi kita tengok. Tiger Sprite dapat? Dapat. Dapat. Okay, ada berapa lah? One, two, three, four. Ada berapa? Okay, kita cuba jawab eh. Let's try to answer. Okay, animals in the story. How many animals are there in the story? Who would like to answer? Yes, Syahril. Three. Three animals. Number one? 
Lion. Lion. We have lion. Number two. Mulai like to answer for number two. Buffalo. Buffalo number two. Okay. You have lion and then a buffalo. Siapa tu? Yes, honey. Yes, next number three. Peacock. Peacock, Peacock tu binatang apa? Merak kot. Yes, correct. Very good. Burung merak. Okay, you know merak right? Burung yang warna-warni dekat ekor dia tu. Warna hijau, warna biru, warna merah sikit. Okay. And the last one. Do you have a last animal? Tiger. Tiger. Okay. Now, buffalo, what is... What? Sir, putus-putus. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Dengar tak? Dengar. Dengar. Okay, okay, okay. Kita sambung eh. Dengar. Okay. Okay, kita sambung. Baik. Okay. Buffalo tu binatang apa, Buffalo? Kerbau. Yes, correct. Kerbau. Okay. So, you have lion, you have buffalo, you have peacock and then you have tiger. However, there are only two prominent animals in the story. Hanya ada dua binatang yang uh, lebih penting atau lebih banyak kita sebut dalam cerita kita. Binatang apa? Tiger yes, buffalo. Yeah. Tiger. 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 Tiger and buffalo. Okay. Lion dengan peacock tu dia hanya sebut sekali saja kan? So it's okay lah. Never mind. You still count they are in the story but they are of less importance compared to buffalo and tiger. Dia kurang penting. Masih ada tapi kurang penting. Next, we look at the tiger sprite. Ada tak jawapan untuk tiger sprite? Jumpa tak? Dengar tak tadi? Okay, who like to answer the tiger sprite? Ada jawapan tak? Yes, Syahril lagi. Yes. Sharp claws. Sharp claws. Correct. I think I heard sharp claws just now. Sharp claws tu maksudnya apa? Sharp claws maksudnya kuku apa? Kuku tajam. Correct. Kuku yang tajam. Very good. Thank you. Next. Siapa angkat tangan? Yes, Izzat. Yes. Big claws. Big? Claws. Big claws. Okay, sebenarnya jawapan dia bukan big claws. Satu lagi. Sekejap saya tunjuk big ah. Claws. Big paws. Big paws. Tadi sharp claws kan? Kuku. Now big paws. Paws tu maksudnya apa? Ha, tahu tak paws tu apa? Badan. Bukan. No. Tangan. It's not the body. Now for humans, we have hands. But for animals such as bears and tigers, lions and etc, you have paws. Okay? Tangan dia. Tangan. Okay. Sorry? Ah, uh, yeah, tapak tangan dia. Betul, tapak tangan. Okay? Okay. Next. Number three. Fangs. What do you have? Fangs, correct. Fangs tu apa pula? Fangs. Fangs maksudnya apa fangs? Taring. Tinggi. Taring. Correct. So you have four things here and uh, you have three things now. Sharp claws, big paws, fangs and number four. What else? One last one. 
has a beautiful shiny coat. Has a beautiful shiny coat. Shiny coat ni apa? Coat tu ke yang cikgu-cikgu awak pakai bulu waktu penyimpunan tu ke? Bulu badan. Dia punya bulu-bulu dia tu. Okay? Bulu-bulu dia cantik dan bersinar. Okay, kalau tak faham awak tulis maksud dia. Di bawah kot tu tulis bulu. Okay. Kalau tiger ni bulu apa ah? Kalau merak bulu pelepah kan? Uh -uh. Tiger bulu apa? Bulu halus eh? Okay, never mind. That's for you to ponder, to ponder and ask your science teacher perhaps. Next, we go to the third list. That is the two. buffalo. Yes. Not afraid of animals. Mana, sorry. Not afraid any animals. Not afraid of any animals. Okay. Or uh, maybe we can add that. Not afraid of any animals. Sebab ada disebut kan The tiger was not afraid of any animals in the jungle Except the buffalo because it was used in stuff Correct, thank you Okay, now next Let's look at the buffalo strength Ada lagi tak tiger sprite? Tak ada eh? Okay, we move to the buffalo strength Kita tengok buffalo pula What are the strength that the buffalo Prominently shows? Ada tak? Awak dapat tak jawapan dia yang ni? Baik, sebaca so balik ah yang bahagian buffalo strength ni. The tiger was not afraid of any animals in the jungle except the buffalo because it was huge and tough. It also had long and beautiful horns. Itu sahaja. Okay, dapat tak? Dapat. The, dapat. the buffalo is huge. Okay, baik. Yes. Okay, number one. What answer do you have for number one? Huge and tough. Huge. Huge, number one. Then number two, we divide them up. Kita bahagikan dia. Tough. Number three, what else? Huge tu maksudnya apa? Huge. Besar. Besar. Huge means what? Besar. Tough? Tough maksudnya apa tough? Tough maksudnya apa tough? Tough maksudnya? Kuat. Kuat. Next, number three. What do you have for number three? Had powerful number tiga. Yes, no, long and... and Powerful. Long and powerful horns. Okay. Apa maksud horns? Tanduk. Horns maksudnya apa horns? Horn. Tanduk. Ya, yeah, tanduk. Okay. Long and beautiful maksudnya tanduk yang panjang dan kuat. Okay, baik. Next. Let's look at the next one. Now. Mama. Ada nombor empat eh. There are no number fours for this one. Okay. Next. Now. The story the tiger was confused. Why do you think the tiger was confused? Ha, ini antara soalan dia. Why do you think the tiger was confused? Confused tu maksudnya apa? Keliru. Keliru. Kenapa? Why? Agak-agak awak kenapa harimau tu confused? Dia fikir siapa yang kuat. Tak dengar se. Oh. 
Hello, hello, hello. Dengar belum? Dengar. Hello, hello. Sorry, the internet is not very good where I live, so just bear with me. If you have any problem, you just tell me. Then I'll 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 refresh. Okay, kalau ada masalah bagi tahu je. Okay, baik. Kenapa awak rasa uh, harimau tu dia jadi keliru? Why do you think the animal is and the tiger is confused? Sebab dia Hani jawab tadi sebab dia tertanya-tanya siapa yang kuat. Kenapa? Apa yang membuatkan dia tertanya-tanya tu? Why? Dia nampak apa masa tu? Harimau tu nampak apa? The tiger saw the buffalo working very hard. Apa maksud? The tiger saw the buffalo working very hard. Harimau tu nampak kerbau kerja keras. Ya, yeah, harimau mau nampak kerbau kerja keras. So, kenapa dia pelik? Eh, kenapa pula uh, buffalo ni kerja keras? Kan dia binatang yang besar dan kuat. Semua binatang lain mesti ikut dia. Dia tak perlu bekerja pun. Dia hanya perlu baring dan dia cakap je. Eh, kambing kau pergi ambil uh, nasi goreng Cina satu. Uh, lepas tu dia boleh cakap uh, ayam. Aku nak nasi ayam satu pinggan. Ambil kan. Uh, jus orang satu itik. Uh, dia tak perlu buat pun. Dia hanya perlu cakap saja dan binatang lain akan buat. Okay, itu pandangan the tiger. That is what the tiger is thinking. Since he is afraid of the buffalo, he assumes that the buffalo need not do anything and everything will be done if he asks for it. Dia hanya perlu sebut saja dan dia akan dapat. So that's why the tiger was confused. Because the buffalo works very hard when he doesn't need to. Okay? Okay, dapat tak jawapan dia? Kena salin ke? Saya salin jawapan dia sekarang ke? Uh, it's, it's your choice. I want to hear your answer. Saya nak dengar jawapan awak. Jawapan sir tak semestinya betul. Itu pendapat sir saja. Ada pendapat lain tak? Mungkin awak cakap, oh dia pelik lah. Dia confused lah. Tiba-tiba... Uh, kerbau tu jadi kecil, jadi kurus. Dia makan diet ke? Nah, contoh. Ada jawapan lain tak? Kena salin ke se? Salin apa soalan? Soalan ke? Soalan salin. Ya, salin jawapan dulu. awak punya sendiri. Jawapan awak punya sendiri. Okey dapat tak? Dengar tak? Okay, salin dulu lah dua soalan ni. Why do you think the tiger was confused and what do you think happens next? Now if you cannot listen, uh, if you See me talking but no sound is coming out you tell me ya. Eh? Awak dengar secak awak nampak secakap tapi tak dengar bagi tahu. Okay dah, siap? Siap Salin? Have you finished yeah. copying? Dah. Yeah. Okay, baik. Now, perhaps you can answer this later when you are doing at home. Okay, awak boleh jawab ni kemudian eh. Next, we go to the next one. The task next. Oh, now, 
I, I was thinking of taking you to the zoo. Have you ever been to the zoo? Yes or no? Yes. Have no. yes. You haven't. Okay, some have some yes, some no. Now the zoo is practically very close to us, so we are very lucky. Okay. Zoo dekat saja. Zoo, especially the uh, Kuala Lumpur National Zoo ataupun Zoo Negara dekat je kan? Betul tak? It's located in Hulu Kelang. In Ulu Kelang. Betul tak? Kan dekat saja. Awak pernah tengok tak zoo dekat mana? Pernah. Pernah tak tengok zoo? Pernah eh? Okay baik. Now I'll be taking you to the um, What is it? Uh, the National Zoo, Zoo Negara. Nak tak? Nak ke nak? Nak. Nak. Okay, very good. Nah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So we'll take a look at the zoo. Let's go to the zoo. Okay. I hope you are able to see this. Nampak tak? Nampak. Nampak eh? Nampak. Nampak. Okay. Now let's go full screen. Dia besar tak? Besar. 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 Okay. I'm not sure whether it is payable or not. Okay. What a discussion. I guess that happened there early morning. Meeting? Uh, this is not my video ah. Huh? Oh, dengar tak dia cakap apa tadi? He is really glad we're here. How's the lockdown for you? Dia dengar cakap, uh, dia cakap dengar tak? Oh, he must be very lonely. Dengar tapi double. Double eh? Okay, okay. Tak apa, tak apa. Kalau tak dengar ataupun double tak apa. It's not important what he is saying because I'll be talking at the back. So what animal is this? You know what animal is this? Not this one. The one just now. What animal is this? Oh, tak dibina tahu. Lumerai. Memerang in English, what is it called? Platypus. Plat no, no, it's not platypus. Bukan platypus, okay? Very close but not quite. Platypus has a duck bill as the, 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 the mouth. Okay, platypus dia ada paru itik kan? Betul tak? Betul kan? Betul. Okay, so that is not a platypus. Those are actually otters. Memerang. O-T-T-E-R-S. Itu cara sebut dia. Dapat tak? Dengar tak? Otters. Okay, now these Family are otters. Hi boys and girls. How are you? Nah, ni binatang apa? What Thank animal you. is this? Manusia. Manusia. Yes. Humans are animals too, right? Okay, never mind. Do it. 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 And kind since he is taking us to a journey into the zoo negara. Okay, before entering the zoo, you have to buy so, tickets for admission. So today got twenty percent, and then adult is twenty five. Then you got twenty percent, lah. Why? Why? Huh? All, all ticket twenty percent, and then uh, why do I have to show my ID? Like? Or just register? Oh, Well, as uh, usually when you enter any zoos or any places of interest, you will be shown first uh, map so that you are able to find your way rather easily lah. Okay, awak akan di, boleh tengok map lah dekat bila awak masuk tu. 
over, over here, here. Set. And, and if we turn, we turn left, left over here, here we're, we're gonna, gonna see the giraffe. giraffe. I think we're, we're gonna, gonna see there's a butterfly, butterfly farm. farm. The lake, the lake, the main lake. The main lake. And also, you you are able to see a signboards that show you where you need to go and how to get there. Okay, we go faster lah because he is talking. I'm talking, so many people talking. So let's just look at the attractions. Actually, run, run by, by an NGO, NGO. and they, and they are, are the ones who take me here. I cannot be blocked. Yeah, yeah. So it's, so the, it's first, the first first day opening, opening, right? right? Yeah. yeah. No, no, I, no, don't, no have... I don't have. Okay. okay. Thank you. So Thank this, you. she's so giving me the, the map <laughs> for, for, for the zoo. For the zoo. So, so I think the, I think the, the staff here is like is super, super friendly. friendly. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. So sometimes when you go to the zoo, you'll be given a map. Peter kan? Supaya awak tahu macam mana awak nak. Uh, ke mana awak nak pergi dan di mana awak berada. Okay, so we are here at the primate section. Primate section. We're in the primate section. Hi. This is the primate section. And um, one thing good I think is, even though it's a cave, we don't really feel like flapping flappies to fight and gibbon. They live here in Southeast Asia too. Echo girl. Can you see? Can you see well? Nampak tak? Nampak. Suppose tau sekarang. Nampak eh? Nampak. Okay. Now you are seeing a white-handed gibbon. Okay. Ataupun uh, jebon bertangan putih. Getting, getting, getting hit morning. Getting, morning. getting, her, getting morning. her morning exercise. Morning to morning you. How are you, how are you today? today? Okay. Ini bahagian monyet lah. This is the uh, apes and Monkey section. She's waking, She's waking up. up. Oh. Oh, I hope oh, you I had, had a good had night. A good and these, and are, these the are the bonnet monkey, monkey. Scientific, scientific name Makaka Radiata, and, and they live in they southern, southern India. India. For all the primates, are, all the primates super are super active, active. I'm, hearing I'm hearing lots of, lots of noises. noises. That's what That's I said, what if I you said, really want to come to the zoo, the best time to go to the zoo, zoo is very, very, very early, early morning. They are super, super active, active, and you get this, all these all super amazing, amazing socks. socks. And here we and have here the Yama, scientific name, Sinfalambus Sindactylus. Sorry, I don't speak Latin very well. Their voice can be have heard, heard for more than two people. Yeah, this is the animal. Uh, what is it? Siamang. All over the screen for two kilometers. Hello. Hi, boys. Lounging in his cage. Did you enjoy, Did you enjoy the lockdown? Aww. 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 Next, we go to the the, the 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 Alaska or the Arctic part of the attractions here. You can see the penguin. Nampak penguin tak? Nampak. Nampak mm -hmm. ah? Now this is not the penguins from Madagascar. This is the real life penguin. So, so you can look at it lah. Next, we go to the aquarium. I don't really favor looking at aquariums in Zunagara, but fine, we'll just look at it. Oh, no. Listening. Listening. Finally. 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 Finally.
this for our Whoa, whoa, you, 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 you. Whoa, look at you, beautiful. That's what I like about you. Wait, uh, the, the, the video is buffering. You know, I know. I know. Okay, since it's the aquarium part of the attractions, so you can expect to see lots of fish. Okay, let's try to move on from the fishes. And while you look at the animals, while you look at the animals, I want you to think about your favorite animals. After this, we'll be talking about your favorite animals. Beautiful. So beautiful. Well, overall, I would say this aquarium. So I would say this. Which is um, that, that is that, that lives here in Southeast Asia. Asia. My God, look at this giant. Is the Giant snake head and look at him. Gosh. Wow, we're glad to see you here too. Snake head, you can't put. Snake head, you can't put. Snake head. 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 Snake Snake head. Snake head. Snake head. Snake head. Snake head. Okay, they are called snake heads because um, during those times when people see them coming out to breach on the water, their heads look like the heads of a fish, especially in the dark. Kalau dalam malam-malam tu dia akan nampak macam ular. So that's why they call it haruan as snake heads. Okay, snake heads haruan. My screen saver is my screen saver. Totally. Gosh, so possible. The way they swim, fly through the water. Oh my gosh, oh my this, gosh. I, this have I have to see. Bee world. Bee world. What the? What the? <laughs> Not many Not pink, pink ones, one, 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 white? white? I think because, I think because pink flamingo eat stuff, stuff. Uh, from the river from the that river makes them pink, pink. So, so some of them is just like losing their pink. pink. But nevertheless, but nevertheless beautiful. beautiful. This is a real. I mean, flamingo. Not many people are mostly white. I think because pink flamingo eat stuff from the river that makes them pink, so... Now you can see leopards. Look at you. How's the lockdown? 
Well, we well, miss we you miss too. too. Oh, you're oh, looking, you're looking fabulous. Fabulous. Just fabulous, 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 fabulous. fabulous. This is an ostrich. <laughs> You can see zebras and you can also see giraffes. Now, here comes the tiger. Now, contrary to popular beliefs, tigers can swim very well in water and they are not afraid of the water. So the video buffers a lot. You have to be patient. Panda. Panda. The last animal that we are going to look at is the panda. Panda comes from China. Malaysia has not able to produce a panda. Okay, dalam hutan Malaysia tak ada panda. Jangan pula masuk hutan untuk terfikir oh nak tengok panda lah. Tak ada panda di Malaysia. Okay, yang dalam zoo negara adalah uh, hasil kerjasama daripada Malaysia dan China. So China lend us their two pandas. And we have to be really, really quiet because we cannot be disturbing the panda. Okay, nampak panda kan? Now this is a panda. With the black and white markings that is popular with its species. Oh my god, internet. <laughs> Grammarly can help you read quickly, quickly and confidently, and confidently. So, you so you never have, have to, slow, to down slow down at work. Stay on Stay top, top of people. People. So let's get so let's to know, know the two the pandas, two pandas soon. soon. Okay, we have two Malaysia. pandas in Malaysia. Fuwa. The boy is Fuwa and the girl is Fengyi. Fongyi, Fongyi. Fuwa was born in 2062. He is... Uh, yeah, yeah, he's also, also born, born in, in Wollong, China. China.
She is making me feel very hungry and I want to go for lunch now. I really hope you enjoy this video going through Zunagara with me. Please come and visit Zunagara. They need all the support they can get from the public. This is their first day of opening, so I really wish everybody would come and spend. Okay, now that's all for our walkabout in the zoo. Now, I would like to say that what do you feel after watching the video? Awak ada rasa apa bila tengok video tu? Do you feel excited to go to the zoo? Do you want to go to the zoo? Yes or no? Yes. 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 The video yes. makes you feel interested. Yes. Right? Awak rasa berminat nak pergi ke zoo kan? Okay. So, when and the, the, the zoo is open, so ask your family and all to go there, okay, so that by going there, our contributions will be able to help the animals, okay. Now, let's go to our next activity. You need to name some animals that are powerful and strong, aside from the given one. So, tiger tak nak, buffalo tak nak, Lion boleh lah sebab lion kita tak cakap lagi kan. Okay, so I want you to list out six animals and their strength. Okay, macam mana nak buat ni? For example, number one, the an the first animal that you want to write about, you want to talk about orang utans. Okay, now orang utans are strong, right? Okay, what strength do they have? They have strong climbing arms. Okay? Long climbing arms. Apa kelebihan orang hutan ni? Dia ada tangan yang panjang untuk memanjat. And able to, tak yalah. Itu saja. Okay, so list out six animals. Okay, salin soalan ni dulu, kemudian awak jawab. You name one animal and then one strength that the animal has. Satu binatang, satu kekuatan dia. Macam tadi, tiger kita boleh cakap pasal dia punya fangs, dia punya big paws and dia punya sharp claws. Okay, next you choose on your own what animals you want to talk about. Strong animals tau. And actually, there are many type of strength. Kekuatan ni ada banyak jenis. Mungkin binatang tu kecil tapi dia ada kekuatan. So, tulis saja. You can talk about rabbits. Example number two. Rabbits. What strength does rabbit has? Able to flee from predators easily. Okay. Dia boleh uh, melarikan diri daripada pemangsa dengan mudah. Okay, it's your choice. Doesn't matter if the animal is big or if the animal is small. The thing is, you need to provide. Why do you think the animal is strong? Saya nak awak keluarkan. Kenapa awak rasa dia ni kuat? Kalau awak cakap dolphin, apa kekuatan yang ada pada dolphin? Kalau awak cakap semut, apa kekuatan yang ada pada semut? Semut is not an animal, is it? It's an insect. So tak kira lah. Semut bukan binatang. Okay, faham tak nak buat macam mana? Faham ke tidak? Faham. 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 Okay, continue lah, sambung. Salin dulu, kemudian buat kemudian. Sembilan dua puluh. Okay, baik. Uh, sebagi masa lima minit untuk awak buka kamera boleh saya nak ambil gambar. 
sambil lo buat tu. Lima minit lama sangat lah. Dua minit lah. Okay, semua boleh buka kamera. Mana lagi yang lain ni? Yang dah buka, okay, thank you. Lagi nampak muka tau? Uh, nampak uh, Hani ada, Akilah, Sarah Sekejap saya tutup Akilah, Sarah, Hani dengan suara se Saya tak dengar Okey Okay, ah, sorry, sorry, internet. Okay, sekali lagi buka kamera. Okay, pandang, pandang. Ah, Hani tiru. Sesekat, sekat. Tu ada dia Ada siapa lagi Mana lagi, mana lagi Kalisha mana hilang dah, tak sempat ambil pun Aidil, ada tak Okay, one Ambil ada, okay one, two Sekali lagi senyum, pandang sini, tunjuk peace, tunjuk Tunjuk love, tunjuk lah apa pun Okay, one, two Okay, sekali lagi one. Tunjuk piece, tunjuk piece. Okay. Okay, baik kita sambung eh. Okay, we continue. Okay, dah siap ke yang ni? Dah siap salin ke? Dah. 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 Okay, awak boleh sambung kemudian eh. You continue after the lesson. Now we go to the next one. The next one is your favorite animal. Okay, nampak tak? Okay, next is your favorite animal. Now, uh, this is an example and I'll be talking about my favorite animal personally. My favorite animal, what animal is this? You know what animal is this? Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Are you sure it's rhinoceros? Hippo. Giraffe. Hippopotamus. 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 This is a hippopotamus ideal. A rhinoceros has one tusk. Okay. Rhinoceros ada satu tanduk dekat hidung dia. This is a hippopotamus. Ini adalah badak air. Compared to rhinoceros, badak sumbu kan? Okay. Now, why is it my favorite animal? Number one, despite being a big and tanky animal, a hippopotamus can move fast in the water. Okay, hippopotamus, although very big, very filled with fat, a hippopotamus can move very fast. Hippopotamus ni, ataupun bandar air ni, dia boleh 
bergerak dengan sangat pantas. Saya pernah tengok tak badan air? Pernah. Dalam air? Pernah. Pernah. Okay. Pernah tengok badan air? Okay. Now, when on land, they move quite fast, walaupun dia besar, agak pantas dalam, eh, di atas darat. Tapi once entering the water, bila dia masuk dalam air, dia laju, dia boleh kejar kapal ataupun boat. Okay, dia boleh kejar. Which is why it's very dangerous for you to enter a hippopotamus infested water. Kalau dalam air tu ada badan air, jangan masuk. Confirm mati. Okay. Sesuai badan air ke? Yes, I love uh, hippopotamus. Okay. So, Personally, how hippopotamus? Hippopotamus, how to spell? Wait. Yes. Hippopotamus. Dia ada dua popo. Okay. Now, another thing, number two. It has a strong bite. A hippopotamus has one of the biggest bite force in the animal world. Okay. Hippopotamus ni dia ada kekuatan gigit yang kuat. Okay. Kalau awak letakkan uh, buah tembikai. Awak boleh tak awak picit dia sampai dia pecah? Boleh ke tidak? Tak. Susah. Tak boleh. Yang sebiji tau, bukan yang awak dah potong cantik-cantik segitiga, awak nak pecikkan senang lah. Tapi yang sebiji tau awak nak pecahkan, tak boleh sebenarnya. Okay? Tapi kalau badan air ni awak letak dalam mulut dia, dia hap. Hancur. Okay, sekali jadi gigit. It's very easy for hippopotamus to destroy a watermelon. Next, it lives on both land and water. Now this shows a hippopotamus to be very adaptable. Maksud dia boleh berubah. Uh, kalau dia duduk di atas darat pun boleh juga. Tapi dia lebih suka duduk di dalam air. Okay. Tapi dia bukan uh, amphibia tau. Dia bukan bernafas menggunakan kulit. Tak. Dia tarik nafas panjang-panjang di, di atas uh, di udara. Kemudian baru dia masuk dalam air. Okay. Uh, dia boleh berada dalam air lebih kurang 30 minit hingga 2 jam. Okay, lepas dia tarik nafas. Yelah, awak tengoklah saiz badan air tu. You can look at the size of the hippopotamus. It shows that the lungs are also very big. Dia punya paru-paru untuk menyimpan udara ataupun oksigen pun besar. Okay, so this is why I like hippopotamus. People might not like hippopotamus. Ramai orang tak suka, eh gemuk lah, eh nampak busuk lah. Okay. Hey, why not? I like hippopotamus. Saya suka. Okay, lagi satu sebab. Uh, when I was a little boy, I went to the zoo and I got excited at watching hippopotamus. Setelalu, terlalu teruja nak tengok hippopotamus. So, I went close to the enclosure. Saya pergi ke dia punya tempat tinggal dekat zoo tu. Kemudian, hippopotamus tu berpusing. Pusing kat badan dia. Menghalakan aa uh, punggung dia ke muka, ke, ke, ke arah kita penonton lah. Kemudian dia kibas-kibas-kibas, ekor dia. Kemudian dia punya najis tu berterabur. So kita pun terpaksa lari. Okay, one of the reasons I like hippopotamus. They are weird, they are big and they are special. Okay. So next, we go to the next part. I've talked about my favorite animal and I have given you three characteristics. Now it's your turn. What is your favorite animals? What is your favorite animal? List three animals with three reasons each. Okay, tulis yang ni. Salin soalan ni, arahan dia. Saya nak awak sena awak keluarkan tiga binatang yang paling awak suka. Kemudian satu binatang keluarkan tiga sebab. Kenapa awak suka? Katakan awak suka musang, you like a fox. Why do you like foxes? Awak suka ikan keli, ya? why do you like uh, catfish? Okay, faham tak apa yang awak kena buat? Faham, faham tak? Faham ya? Okay, so salin yang ni, kemudian awak buat. Now, the bubble mat should look like this. Okay, bubble mat awak uh, lukis macam ni, lebih kurang.
Okay. Okay, now this is the last task for you today. Tomorrow I'll be giving you another task. If you have finished with copying, you answer after the lesson. Awak jawab kemudian. Okay, once you have finished, you can leave the group. This is, uh, you can leave the Google Meet. This is the last task of the day. Today we learned about animals and how the tiger got its stripes. Itu kita akan sambung minggu depan. Okay, awak dah habis salin, awak boleh leave Google Meet ni ya. Okay, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. See you next week. Bye-bye. Yang belum habis boleh terus sambung ya. Eh? So. Yes. Yang list the animal ni kalau list dia sama boleh ke? Hmm, okay. Boleh. Kalau boleh tak sama lah tapi kalau sama pun tak apalah. Tapi ada tiga kan? Yes, bye bye. Tapi ada tiga binatang, eh tiga ciri-ciri kan? Terima kasih, saya. Yes, sama-sama, bye bye. Ada tiga kan? Takkan tiga-tiga sama untuk tiga-tiga binatang tu. So, mungkin. Okay, bye bye. Mungkin satu sama, dua lagi tak sama. Satu sama, dua tak sama lah macam tu. Okay, Moaz? Okay. Terima kasih, saya. Okay. Bye. Sama, bye bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Jangan lupa tanda kehadiran eh. Okay, share. Assalamualaikum. Salam, bye-bye.